Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Chanel. I don't know why I left my hand up. <laughs> You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel. This is the channel where we watch movies together because we're BFFs and I just let you know what's going on in my little brain the whole time I'm watching them. Um, I like to do it with a filmmaking lean because that's what I love about the movies. I love the movies. I think film's amazing. I think movies are miracles. I say it often on the channel, but probably not often enough. And um, I'm just happy. I'm happy to be here watching movies for you guys. I don't know why I'm sniffly all of a sudden. It's like I'm allergic to work. Okay. Um, today's video is Dogma from 1999. We are continuing our trek in on the Kevin Smith View at Skew Universe. I started with Clerks and then we went to Mallrats and I did Chasing Amy. I love Chasing Amy. So that is the one to beat for me. I need to see if Dogma beats Chasing Amy. So that's kind of what we're playing for. We're playing for top, we're playing for top banana right now, you guys. <laughs> um, Dogma, I don't really know much what that title is gonna do. I think Dogma is like a, like rules and some doctrine, dogma that we live by. Let me look it up actually. Dogma, dogma. Principle or set of principles laid down by an authority as incontrovertibly true. Okay, I'm down. So we're gonna question beliefs again, I think, which makes me excited because it's very chasing Amy. And like I said, that's the one to beat. So I don't like to look up too much beforehand, but I did catch the first line of the synopsis because my monitor is 27 inches and I clicked onto the IMDB and I see an abortion clinic worker. That's what I see. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to not look at the rest, but that's the line I see. It's gonna be Affleck again. Don't care about him. Damon, love. And I'm excited to see Linda Florian Fiorentino. I don't know who she is. Yeah. So we're just going to be on the lookout for Viewisk Universe references. I'm going to be looking out for Jay and Silent Bob. I'm going to be looking out for Snoochie Boochies. And um, I'm going to be looking out for Star Wars references. Snappy stylized dialogue that's not really in the realm of reality, but is like, it really makes a point. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and before we continue on, I am so excited to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. You know the drill by now if you've been here for more than one video. Squarespace is the most amazing all-in-one platform for your website building needs from galleries, landing pages, analytics, storefronts, whatever your needs may be, Squarespace has got you covered. I am an avid user of Squarespace and I have been for so many years now at this rate. I am a Squarespace junkie. I've been with them. I've been with them. I've been with Squarespace since 2016, hosting ChanelRichio.com. I am so thankful that I snagged it back when I did, back when I was acting in New York City and I needed a place for my headshots, my resume, a little about me page, and just, you know, a place I could send people of the industry to check me out. My favorite thing about Squarespace is there are never any price hikes, there are never any hidden fees. Every single year my domain name renews like clockwork, like clockwork. Every single year my domain name renews in October. I know what I'm gonna pay, when I'm going to pay it. And it's just, you know, another little business expense that is predictable and delivers well beyond what it promises. I always say this, I'm gonna say it again. The only issue you're going to have using Squarespace is going to be picking a template because they are all just that gorgeous. Pick a template, spend an afternoon on it. Seriously, that's just about how long it takes. And then when you are ready to launch, use offer code Chanel Riccio for 10% off of a first purchase of a website or domain. You will not regret it. Your customers will not regret it. Your mom and dad will love it. Your aunt, uncle, grandma, brothers, Everyone's gonna love your Squarespace website, including me. If you build a website using my code and Squarespace, comment it below. I wanna see, I wanna see what you're up to. So that's that on that. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And on that note, let's get right into today's video, which is Dogma from 1999. Okay. Oh my gosh, starting, disclaimer pronunciation of any claim or connection with Just comedic fantasy not to be taken seriously passing judgment is reserved for god and god alone this goes for you film critics just kidding <laughs> how fitting that we're watching this right now on my channel and i'm acting as a quasi critic right now so please before you think about hurting someone over this trifle of a film remember even god has a sense of humor just look at the platypus <laughs> 
Thank you. Enjoy the show. We apologize to the platypus enthusiasts out there. Jersey! Oh, I'm ready. I've never been to Asbury Park, but I really want to go. Hockey. They played hockey on the roof in Clerks. Love these shots. And Catholicism wow, Cardinal Glick. Catholicism wow. Thank you, thank you. Now we all know how the majority and the media in this country view the Catholic Church. George Carlin. This highly recognizable yet wholly depressing image of our Lord. That's what I'm saying. We've come up with a new, more inspiring sigil. So it is with great. What's it gonna look like? Sexy Jesus. The Buddy Christ. <laughs> and then proceed to shock and devour the helpless creatures en masse. Now, I don't know what that says to you, but to me, it says that. Affleck, dynamic duo. Organized religion destroys who we are. I don't know what these words actions. are. I've never really thought about it like that before. What have I been doing with my life? What? Tell me he's converting a nun away from the, the Catholic Church. Had a girl. Ugh, he's so charming. Yeah, I just heard you claim to be an atheist. I just like the f with the clergy, man. I just love it. I love to keep those guys on their toes. <laughs> he likes to f with the clergy. Cardinal Glick cuts ribbon on Catholicism. Wow, campaign. And? Snazzy. I don't want to die. Wait, you'd rather hang around here for a few more no, years? No, we don't even know if we can die. All right, but what if we can, and then, and then the arch thing doesn't work? Are they like ghosts? Are they immortal? Transubstantiate to complete human form. We become mortal. They're not mortal. We won't be angels anymore, but at least we get to go home. Angels, they're angels. We won't be angels anymore. All that matters is that after all these years, we found a loophole. <laughs> can't keep us out anymore. This is so clever. Could you imagine casting Matt and Ben as angels? <laughs> the church laws are fallible because they're created by men. Yes, dogma. The church says it's so, God must adhere. This thing has a papal sanction. Let it never be said that your anal retentive attention to detail never yielded positive results. You can't be anal retentive if you don't have an anus. Outstanding work. <laughs> this premise. Rededication ceremonies in four days. So they're tired of being in this sort of limbo is what I'm getting as angels and they want to get to heaven? Kill people. <laughs> oh, not you. <laughs> Perfect timing. Dogma! Chanel's finally watching it. Lucky you. Join in this protest. Bethany. Well, now please rise for the recession of faith. Were those other words names? Yes. Burn in hell, you fucking baby killer. That's that comedian lady, Janine Garofalo. At least you have an excuse, you're Jewish. You don't know any better. Oh, they're gonna go for that one. We already used that excuse when we killed Christ. You don't know any better. You're suggesting I need to get filled. In more ways than one. You need to get laid, Bethany Sloan. I think God is dead. A sign of a true Catholic. F former fallen Catholic over here. This feels like chasing Amy in terms of tone. It is much more serious, much more grounded. Afternoon, Mrs. Jason Reynolds. Israel. <gasps> Devil. No pleasure, no rapture, no exquisite sin greater than central air. <laughs> I get it, buddy. I really do get it. Okay. I like what we're building. Oh, I know this voice. Just sit down on the bed and shut up. Okay, Alan Rickman, baby. Angels are ill-equipped. See? <laughs> I'm as anatomically impaired as a kendo. <laughs> Guys! That is so intense. Some Yahoo claims that God has spoken to them. They're speaking to me. Dead. Were you to hear it, your mind would cave in and your heart would explode within your chest. We went through five atoms before we figured that one out. <laughs> five atoms. 
How do I know you're an angel? What, you mean? <laughs> All you gotta do is go to New Jersey and visit a small church on a very important day. Oh, gracias. Okay, this is how everyone's gonna come together. Jersey, love it. Stop a couple of angels from entering and that's negating all existed. <gasps> Damon and Affleck. Ah, the tenth plague. Tell a person that you're the Metatron and they stare at you blankly. Mention something out of a Charlton Heston movie and suddenly everybody's a theology <laughs> scholar. <laughs> Were they sent to hell? Worse, Wisconsin. Yup, cheese. Worse than hell. <laughs> Up would become down, black would become white. Existence would become nothingness. In essence, they'll unmake the world. This is an intense call to action. 20 minutes in, right guys? He could, but he'd rather see you take care of this one personally. I was just gonna say, why can't God just do it? More angels. Prophets, in a manner of speaking. Uh, two of them. I hope it's Jay and Silent Bob. The one who speaks, and he will. At great length, whether Dead. you want him to or not, will make mention of himself as a prophet. Dead, this is Jay and Silent Bob. What's he like? God. Eh, nothing special. Lonely, but funny. The way I understand it is mostly a joke down here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a Kevin Smith movie so far span so many states. Wisconsin, Illinois, Jersey. Damn, buddy. <gasps> Our heroes, Snoochie Boochies. <laughs> I love those boys. <gasps> we haven't revealed yet, but that's so good. You guys know I love a re good reveal. The cigarette with the close up. Oh, I'm Jay. And this is my head of a life mate, Sam Bob. No, me and Sam Bob are pro choice. Women's bodies are on fucking business. Yes, Jay. We figure abortion clinics are a good place to meet loose women. Why else would they be here unless they like the <laughs> Just when you think it's really forward. Abortion clinic to pick up loose women. I'm going back to Jersey and starting up the business again. I can kick the shit out of little kids in Red Bank and make myself a profit. Profits. Profit. Fecalator. One look at it and the target hits him or herself. Try it on. The fecalator? Raining down sulfur is like an endurance trial. Mass genocide is the most exhausting activity one can engage in, next to soccer. <laughs> just, I just love the song. Sorry. I get excited. I love like an oldie. Chick. Moments. 16 candles, trying to use? Because every time we get to the part where the redhead hooks up with her dream guy, he starts sobbing like a little bitch with a skin knee and <laughs> Them taking the John Hughes universe seriously and coming to Illinois. <laughs> there is no Shermer in Illinois. Movies are f***ing bullshit. When you I love how meta that whole thing was. Movies are f***ing bullshit. No, wait. I can pay you. So they don't know that they're profits. Right? I feel like Han Solo, you're Chewie, and she's Ben Kenobi and we're in that f*** up bar. Star Wars reference. Alright, well let's say we're caught in a situation where we have like five minutes left to live. Us in. in that highly unlikely situation? Yeah, sure. Yeah? She's a slut. Bang. Oh. <laughs> that that does it for him? Okay. This is from the guy who still owes me ten bucks over that bet about which was gonna be the bigger movie. E.T. or Crush Groove. You know if you man, because time's gonna tell on that. <laughs> time's gonna tell. I'm gonna have to watch this again. There's just too many jokes I'm gonna miss. Are you married? Why? Well, I'm just curious. What do you think? <laughs> Are you married to her? I thought it's a business, but no. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> they were gonna commit murder. Guys, I guess just don't fall the fucking sky, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh my god. That is a naked Chris Rock. Beautiful naked big titted women just don't fall out of the sky, you know? He's like, women though. Kill it, kill it! Sounds familiar? Jesus, are you okay? Sounds familiar. You know, death is a worry of the living. The dead, like myself, only worry about decay and necrophiliacs. 
Told you he was the undead. You knew Christ. No. Me and Jesus. Twelve bucks. Yeah. JC, we used to walk everywhere. Did you ever have a fat apostle? No such thing as a fat apostle. <laughs> It's like, I can't acknowledge all the jokes. There's just too many. I just have to sit here and try my hardest to get them all. Boobies. Yeah, <gasps> I've been going to church my whole life and I've never heard of a 13th apostle named Rufus. <laughs> yeah, but you heard of the other 12 apostles. <laughs> but no mention of me, Rufus. And why is that? It's fucked up. Man, but you know what? Jesus wasn't white. Jesus was black. I don't buy it. <laughs> I think about this all the time. Jesus was Jewish. You were martyred? Another way is the set was bludgeoned sh by big f***ing rocks. I mean, white folks only want to hear the good. You were martyred? I was bludgeoned to sh <laughs> I mean, I could have been knee deep in Shepherd's Daughters, not to mention fine ass Mary Magdalene. She had a thing for Dolphin if you follow me. Yo, man, tell me something about me. You masturbate more than anyone on the planet. So, everyone knows that. Tell me something nobody knows. <laughs> when you do it, you're thinking about guys. <gasps> Do not all the time. <laughs> the apostle got him. <laughs> Who's this? Okay, she looks so familiar, but I need I need a face. I need to get lock in on the face. Friend has a bit of a penchant for the dramatic. Oh come on. You and your board are idolaters. <gasps> Idol worship. Not good. You got your girlfriend drunk at last year's Christmas party and then paid a kid from the mailroom to have sex with her while she was passed out. She uh, killed herself. This is, these, oh my God, these guys are bad. Boy, Mr. Holtzman, okayed the production of movie dolls for materials he knew to be toxic and unsafe. These guys are criminals, all of them. One's a pedophile. Do you know what makes a human being decent? Fear, and therein lies the problem. Hmm. I have a lot of fear. <laughs> I'm afraid all the time. <laughs> that squishing shot did not help me figure out what it's made out of. Mashed potatoes? Let's no. It went down easily. But I do believe in this. <laughs> Don't run! Don't run! Okay, all right. I get the, the farce of it all. They're only killing genuinely bad people. You're a pure soul, but you didn't say God bless you when I- <gasps> Okay. <laughs> you should know better than anyone at this table, but tits don't make a woman. Hell, the tubby coat wear, motherfucker. That is Salma Hayek, and I always accidentally want to call her Penelope Cruz, but I, I do understand the difference. For example, She's I'm nice. responsible for 19 of the 20 top grossing films of all time. <gasps> How? Explain. I need to know this. The kid by himself in his house, burglars trying to come in and he fights them off. Ah, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> also John Hughes, right? You're saying God's a woman? Was there ever a doubt in your mind? He's always referred to. Kevin Smith and Ariana on a Grande agree. God's a woman. A woman's responsible for original sin. A woman cuts Samson's quaff of power. A woman asks for the head of John the Baptist. Read that book again sometime. Women are painted as bigger antagonists than the Egyptians and Romans combined. I might be revealing too much about myself right now, but this is why I don't subscribe to anything the Bible has to say because men wrote it. <laughs> we were not considered. Literacy was male. It was for men. No denominations nailed it yet. It doesn't matter what you have faith in, just that you have faith. I love this. This is exactly how I think about spirituality. You can just have faith, but it doesn't have to be a specific. Shit in what is this? It's like it's so gross. No man of woman. That thing is horrifying. <laughs> Okay, friends, the most scholarly question I've ever asked on the channel, what do we think the demon's made out of? Mud? Chocolate? <laughs> That's amazing. That's a very clever way to not have to show the fight. Just get all reaction shots and then cut to and it's all done. Genius. Ooh, CGI. The monster looked practical up until that shot. Come on, Silent Bob, save us. Oh, 
Hello, we'd like two tickets to New Jersey, please. Jersey sold out, sir. I suggest you not underestimate the staggering drawing power of the Garden State. <laughs> Don't underestimate the staggering power of the Garden State. I'm dead. I just think it's better to have ideas. I mean, you can change an idea. Changing a belief is trickier. People die for it. People kill for it. Yes. You know, I haven't seen the Moron Twins in a while. Beliefs are powerful, friends. Also, the Moron Twins. Hell no, we're just about to smoke a fatty with these two suave motherfuckers. Got on the last stop. This is Larry and Barry. Hey. <gasps> Where's this pilgrimage to? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> Try me. All right. Jersey. Okay. Going to this church. He's gonna find out. New Jersey. He's gonna find out. Complicated, guys. Just to stop a couple of angels from going into the church. <gasps> Ben Affleck is doing his thinking face, which is just this. This. I want you to meet my new friend, Barry. We can talk about this! Holy sh Apostle. I didn't come in you, Pete, I swear. <laughs> Trey! Consequences, schmonsequences. Guess what? We're going home. Ugh. Okay. Oh, Matt Damon just delivered that line like it was the most serious thing on the planet Earth. Consequences, schmonsequences. <laughs> ah. Damn. Hmm. They just have to get to Jersey. <laughs> Can you guys believe that in simplest form, the premise of this movie is get to New Jersey? <laughs> they choose to acknowledge God or choose to ignore him. All this time we've been down here, I've felt the absence of the divine presence and it's pained me. Ben Affleck needs to study some Shakespeare. Like, it, it, he isn't classically trained and it shows. Wake up! These humans have besmirched everything he's bestowed upon me. Besmirched everything he's bestowed upon me. Like, he doesn't even know what he's saying. I'm going back to Wisconsin. We'll go yeah. Listen to Matt Damon. Welcome the end of existence. Unless you come clean right now. Why me? the people on yeah, the goddamn I do want to know why, this. Was I why is she chosen why would they leave any of it out because it's all closely tied in with his family his mother and father <gasps> the blood that flows through your veins she has a chromosome or two at the genetic level with the one you call Jesus you are the great 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 grand niece of Jesus Christ <laughs> so that would make better Part black. <laughs> Forgot about that. Why? What the f you want from me? Alan Rickman does walk on water. The incorporation of this new data into who you are, be who you've always been. Just be this as well. Wow. Alan Rickman making a freaking three-course meal out of this. Oh, the voice of God. Where's the rest of them? It's funny you should mention that. We're not sure. What? Come on, Apostle. Didn't it ever occur to you that this Bartleby Loki situation was well within the sphere of his control? Yes. It was. And I tapped her because I thought we might be able to smoke out whoever's behind this, but whoever he is has been clever enough to send some lackeys after you as opposed to showing up themselves. Cardinal Glick? Maybe we can just ask him to shut down the church. If it's closed that day, uh, those guys can't get blessed or whatever, right? Good Lord. The little stoner's got a point. Maybe we could go talk. The little stoner's got a point. Are you saying you're back in, miss? I don't think I can do this anymore. I wouldn't want to let the family down, now, would I? <laughs> but tomorrow... Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Do I make myself clear? Neither you nor any other influence, short of the hand of God, himself is going to keep this mm. thing from going off without a hitch. I really hope we see God in this. <laughs> Welcome to New Jersey. <laughs> Oh, God, I get to New Jersey movie. We're gonna have to try and kill him. You said they couldn't be killed. Correction! <gasps> they 
Lucifer. Hey, there's That's only one name. idiot here, Azrael. Azrael. But he is the bad guy. He doesn't know how to make a holy bartender. Anybody? No? Well, is it Jen? I know how. Hmm. Wine? Oh my god, I didn't see that coming. I didn't even guess at that. <laughs> Holy bartender, I get it, it's a great one. <laughs> Prepare to taste God's wrath. Maybe we should just leave. You wanted your body count, you got it. Oh my god. Clever. Come on, Silent Bob save the day. He usually does kind of save the day. How did he die? What just happened? He said it himself. I'm a fucking demon. You hit a demon with an instrument of God, the pure side's always gonna do the most damage. Holy <laughs> Silent Bob's an instrument of God? No, but the driver is because Glick's the kind of asshole who would bless his own clubs for a better golf game, but- Do you love how this movie just writes its own rules? He blessed his own clubs, his club of God. When you're a writer, man, you're just the god of your script. You play God. Any writers out there? Then what the f are we supposed to do? Just wait for a solution to fall out of the sky? So it's been happening this whole time. And so he just started picking up folk off the road and just dropping them. This is just eons of repression getting purged. <laughs> if only they'd let us jerk off, you know? Come on, tell me, have you gone in and come out through the archway yet? No! Oh, he's I never thought I'd see the day Ben Affleck is flying around New Jersey with wings on. I just really can't with this. <laughs> I can't let you do that, Bartleby. This has gone too far. I was say, they're really stalling this walking through the archway. It's, it's almost as if the movie doesn't want them to do it. Short lifespan. I'm sorry, old friend. But you lost the faith. You stabbed him in the back. Literally. ...of non-existence and God's still nowhere to be found. What the f kind of deity gets kidnapped? Amen to that. I've been waiting to see God for 40 minutes. We have about five minutes left to live. The whole world's gonna end. You said... Oh my god, oh my god. That guy, the one that won't take off life support, John Doe Jersey, this is where he's at, St. Michael's Hospital over there. Oh shit. Do they have skee ball there? Yeah. God loves skee ball. Ah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, ow! Ah, it's getting intense. Ew, little nubs, those are so scary. I have to admit, I don't know the plan. I don't understand the plan. Somebody's death summon... God? Now, stupid! Tell me this is God. Anyone who isn't dead or from another plane of existence would do well to cover their ears right about now. <laughs> I thought this whole movie was going to take place in an abortion clinic. Like, what? How did we get here? Okay, Lady Gaga. She can fix all this, right? Oh. You ready to make some of those changes I've been talking about? We'll see. First, I gotta say goodbye to Bethany. Where is she? Yeah, what the heck? She turned off that life support and then started bleeding. So it's like she committed a mortal sin of killing. So this is the consequence. I'm confused. She has the technology she can make you better, faster. 
and she'll do it all wearing a snazzy corset and patent leather jacket. You were the last Zion. No. <gasps> this. Virgin Mary? Pregnant. Why are we here? <gasps> Guys, that's me every single day. Why are we here? Please. What? She just booped. No, seriously, what's the meaning of life? Like, why are we here? Why am I doing this? Why am I sitting in my room? This is what I mean when I say existential dread. Didn't I tell her she was funny? <laughs> she is funny. I told you she was a woman. She's not really anything. She's something, all right. That was just the human form. Got it. And if you clean up your language, I just might put in a good word for you, too. Thanks. I was going to say, I didn't hear Silent Bob speak the whole movie. <laughs> I kind of have chills, you guys. I shouldn't. I say it's the, it's the sweeping score. What do you think? If you're pregnant, we're gonna have sex and do the third trimester. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Lol. I am freaking exhausted by this movie. It's <sighs> a lot of explaining. Okay, Kevin Smith, I see you. Let's talk about it. You guys, I was like, my, I feel like you can smell my brain cooking. Dogma from 1999. I have now seen it. I know when I'm watching a Kevin Smith movie, my brain is going to be like, like trying to keep up with the dialogue. And oh my God, there was so much dialogue and there was so much information flying at me the whole time. I feel like I need to watch that again. <sighs> that was insane. I get, I liked it. I, uh, I'm like, you want to know if I liked it, right? I liked it. I, okay, I live for critique of like the way things are. You know, I love like a societal critique. I love a critique of society. That's kind of why I loved Chasing Amy because Chasing Amy was critiquing how we think and fetishize, you know, sexuality in general and like how we, we try to put people in these boxes. And then I felt like with dogma, it was like the perversion of religion, how getting stuck on any one dogma is damaging. It's super damaging. So, I mean, you know I loved the message. I loved using George Carlin. Um, I'm sure he was just like tickled to do that, or I hope he was. Like that's my hope. Um, I loved the cast. I loved how creative. Oh my God, was that creative. That was just like... Yeah, one of the cleverest storylines I think I've ever witnessed. It was so clever. So much information. What did I write? I wrote down um, paying homage to John Hughes. Very funny. Oh, the message of no denomination of religion has nailed it. It's only important to just have a faith. You don't have to get it right. Love that message. Such a good message, right? We have the Kevin Smith touch with the long scenes and the insane, smart, quick dialogue, but this felt big. This felt even, this is the biggest thing of his I've seen yet. This felt huge. I just wrote Ben needs acting school. <laughs> I'm evil. I was super confused by them creating problems and sort of solving them at the end. Like I, God could have, the idea was God could have solved this the whole time through, but they wanted the daughter of Christ to do it. And in the end, she's the one who martyrs herself and summons God to come help, right? Let me know. Did I get that? Let's go. Let's go straight to budget. Oh my God. $10 million. It's low. I thought this was like, I thought this looked like a 30, at least $30 million movie. Damn. Okay. This is awesome. There wasn't that many callbacks to clerks and or mall rats. Like I thought we'd get like a Julie Dwyer reference. I have heard about the VSK universe and I'm wondering if chronological order wise this one takes place before all the events that we've seen already the clerks events and mall rats oh okay i didn't i didn't clock this i knew that the man in the beginning in asbury park was asbury park was beaten by the hockey boys didn't put two and two together i knew we were returning to asbury park i didn't put two and two together that that man was god just in a different body so then when Bethany takes God 
off life support, then then God is able to come down. Yeah, because you have to like release God from that mortal body. Now that I understand that that man was God. Trivia section. Oh, Alan Rickman was a Chasing Amy fan. That's why he was asked to play Metatron. Jason Mewes had the entire script memorized before rehearsals. When asked why, he says it was because he didn't want to anger Alan Rickman. Because Count Smith took him aside before rehearsals began and said he needed to be on his best behavior. <laughs> oh, I was going to say Alan Rickman's always wearing a hood. It says the hoods worn around the neck of the three angels in the film. Metatron, Bartleby, and Loki represent their halos. Kevin Smith wrote the screenplay before he wrote Clerks, but shelved it because he wanted to do it with proper visual effects. Yeah, this one's bigger. It needs a bigger budget. I was going to say... Jason Lee would have made an excellent Loki. The role of Loki was written for Jason Lee, but scheduling conflicts forced him to take on the smaller role of Azrael. Chris Rock ad-libbed the line, if he knows Christ, when he asked if he knows Christ, he said, yeah, he owes me 12 bucks. That was ad-libbed. The Buddy Christ statue that was used in the film is on display at Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash, a comic book store in Red Bank, New Jersey, owned by Kevin Smith. So the Catholics and the Catholic League did protest this movie. Which is weird. Like, it's literally saying, just have faith. The wings were puppeteered. Fun. Disney was having doubts about releasing the film. That's wild that they even were on board. At which point, Miramax as Harvey Weinstein personally bought the distribution rights and the film was released by Lionsgate instead. I think that has something to do with the fact of why you can't rent this for money. Or even buy it. Whoa, Kevin Smith originally wanted Danny Elfman. To compose the score, I love Buddy Christ. Guys, I'll, I'm, I need to get a Buddy Christ for my room. I'm dead. Yeah, I think it was really cool to have George Carlin in this because he was an outspoken critic of religion. He did a lot of his stand-up. That was like skewering religion. Joey Lord and Adams was considered for the role of Bethany. Okay, I feel satisfied with that trivia section. Um, I feel like I will look up the locations, but I think they would have gone, right? Oh, that was Pittsburgh. St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's the church at the end. Carnegie Mellon University. Whoa, they filmed this in Pennsylvania, friends. Shocking. They did go to Asbury Park, Highlands, New Jersey. Guys, the majority of this movie was Pennsylvania. Movies, restaurant, Azrael's house, scene, Mexican restaurant, Pennsylvania. How crazy. Okay, I feel really good about that. So now I want to hear from you. Let me know. Sound off below. What do you think of Dogma from 1999? I think that Chasing Amy is still my favorite and this moves into number two and then Clerks and then Mall Rats. So that's my ranking. I think I need to catch this again. I think this movie will continue to unfold for me because it is so much information. So I want to know, did you go to see this in theaters and did you get it? Because I wasn't an adult in 1999, but I'm like, were people open to this kind of movie in 99? Like if you could hang and you were a critic of religion Did you love this in 99? Um, Was the consensus that it was like weird? Like what did people think of Dogma in 1999? Because I think now it's pretty heavily revered. So let me know. Sound off below. Um, Full link to this. Patreon information. Description box below. Other ways to support the channel. Description box below. And on that note, friends, I'm going to go eat.